All right, everyone, welcome back to the hillside. Today is a really short video, but I just wanted to show you something I thought was really, really neat. Um, we all know about aloe vera, okay? It's a very common plant. You put it on your cuts, your sunburns, etc. But did you know that the aloe family has literally hundreds of varieties? Now, this specific one, I don't remember exactly what it is, but it is in the aloe family. So check out the, the coloration on the inside of these leaves here. Just wonderful. Uh, these little uh, serrations there, they're not sharp at all. And it started off with just one little plant. And in the course of one year, it has divided into only one. But there's a second one here, a third one here. And if you look right here on the edge, I'll turn this around for you to see better. That's how they propagate. Okay, they put off little pups or little runners that are uh, going to start propagating. And as the plant gets bigger, you can divide those out. They make their own new plant. And that's just fine. So for whatever reason, the conditions this uh, winter time or maybe the springtime were just right and tricked this plant into blooming. Okay, so if you had an aloe vera plant, unless you live in a very specific climate with very specific inputs at certain times, you're not going to really get your aloes to bloom. But this plant did. And um, let me show you the, I just want to kind of show you the progress that the plant makes through the flowering cycle. If you look at this one here first, now this one has not bloomed yet. And as you can kind of see here, how the uh, the flowers are basically swelling up right there, this nice, beautiful, orangish uh, color. And that's the, uh, the, the unopened flowers, obviously, as they're starting to swell. And coming over here, now this seems like it's almost a brighter orange. Let me get a little bit closer here. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Look at the wrong flower. There you go. Now this is actually in bloom. Okay, all of these flowers are um, are full and just like they're just like a much brighter color, which is really, really interesting. They go from the orange to almost a more a fluorescent color to say the least. But there you go. So that one and you can kind of pan it back here to that plant. So out of the center of this, out of the center, one little flower stalk is then going to emerge. It's going to come up. Put on some flowers okay and then the third and final one this is what i showed you accidentally a second ago uh, once the flowers are done and they have not been pollinated obviously because i don't believe in this climate we have the right pollinators i'm sure it's a very specific um, pollinator that this plant is designed to uh, to live with so as far as i can tell none of these flowers are going to produce any type of seed or anything like that whatsoever so that's okay no big deal but I just wanted to kind of show you uh, what you can kind of expect from your aloe plants you buy at the store. And this is uh, nothing fancy. It was bought at a big box store this past winter. I think probably like $1.99 or something like that. And it's done well. It's very low maintenance. Just water it sporadically when you feel like it. Just keep it moist. You don't need to water it too much. Actually, too much water for all of the aloe plants is actually uh, would actually be detrimental, honestly. It helped... Um, it would lead to rotting of the roots and things like that. So air on the drier side, and I think because it went for a very long period this winter, I barely watered this plant at all, just enough to kind of keep it, you know, what I thought was alive because it wasn't growing in the winter, obviously. And then in the spring came, uh, just, a, just a small, just a light fertilization. It's getting natural sunlight. It's getting moisture. Uh, the humidity today is just outrageous, so it's getting the humid conditions outside. So even though it's not getting um, water today, it's plenty. Uh, it's plenty humid to you know kind of emulate that natural environment that these guys like the uh, the dry, humid environment and climates of uh, Central South America. So I hope that was helpful. Hope you guys liked it. Um, do post any comments if you had any success with your aloes blooming. Uh, whether intentionally or just by accident, you actually uh, were able to convince your aloe to bloom. So I'll leave you guys with that. Hope you, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will surely like to hear from you in the comments below. And we'll see you next time here on the hillside with some more interesting plant um, things going on. All right then. Bye-bye.